Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I am excited to share with you the journal junk box and journal junk sack that have both been sent to me for review. So essentially I get to review the bundle with all of you. This is a stationary subscription box but it is so much more. She includes journal prompts in the box as well as fun lifestyle items and it's just a really lovely way to get some fun desk accessories and ways to make your day planner feeling a little bit more delightful and beautiful and she does great themes so let's go ahead and see what colorful goodies we have today so this is the march bundle the sack is usually a little bit smaller just usually a few items usually like a little inspirational card and a notebook and some other fun accessories and that's thirty dollars and ninety five cents now the box which i also have to share with you actually comes in a box and that is fifty three ninety five now if you don't want to feel the FOMO and you want to get everything and it's usually the same theme but there's not going to be any repeats so you can get both the sack and the box and not get duplicates then you want to get the bundle which saves you a few dollars because that's just $71.95 now for any of those subscriptions I can save you 15% with my code which is hi Noel I will leave a link as well as that code for you in the description box below and that's where I have all kinds of other information in terms of our Facebook group my Instagram handle all ways to support the channel all the other referral links and codes that you might possibly need or find here on the channel they're all usually down there so don't be afraid to click the little arrow or the notifications bell that's always a good way to support the channel as well but let's go ahead and get into our sack now the sack usually comes in a mailer bag and then inside of that mailer is a little bubble uh, pouch I guess so you could call it and I do think this is a really great value for just a little over $30 per month. It's a nice way to just kind of like I said, make your day planner a little bit brighter, your calendar if you have one up for your family in the kitchen or something, lots of fun stickers, etc. So this is what it is, the journal junk sack. And then we have a couple items. Here is our inspirational quote card and everybody kind of gets a different one. This one is actually a Bible verse this time. It says, fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Philippians 4, 8. So that is a a little quote card. I love having these. I just put them up in front of my desk so I have something nice to look at, a good reminder for the month. And then we have kind of our hero item is usually we have our little growth bookmark, of course. That's kind of a perennial item. We have our notebook for the sack. Sometimes they are created by Journal Junk Sack and sometimes, or Journal Junk Box, and sometimes they are from another stationer. This time, oh, we got a travel journal. So it's a travel checklist journal, a portable trip planner and diary, which you guys know travel is a huge and important part of my life. So I love getting things like this. It has a value of $7.95 on the back. It says, make this journal your constant companion as you map out and enjoy the vacation or holiday you envision. Where will you go? Where will you stay? Any must dine restaurants? And will you be able to squeeze it all in? This practical checklist planner journal will help you plan it all and then record the details once you're there. These are really fun to have because sometimes it is, you know, the anticipation of a trip, the planning, knowing what you're going to wear on different days. That is part of the fun of travel. And then it's kind of nice to have that in like a keepsake journal because it's nice to look back on that part as well and uh, just to remember the whole trip as its own unit. So we have medical info, contacts, planning tips, like your one month calendar leading up to it. So like a bigger one itinerary and diary reflections foreign phrases and metric conversions so it's kind of on this pale blue pages which is kind of nice uh, we have like day four it's you can say like the destination how to get there your travel companions activities hotel restaurants entertainment you can kind of uh, annotate and say what the weather was like we have our pre-trip checklist earlier in the journal so that's kind of fun it's definitely something that I will probably peruse I don't know that I personally would necessarily use it because I kind of have my templates that I already use for my trips but uh, I start planning trips like way in advance sometimes like years in advance but um, I'm kind of hitting that one month um, checklist now for 
for of course a big trip that I'm going on in the end of April. I'll be gone for a couple of weeks. So this is good for 14 days. So full two week trip in this. And it's kind of cute. I like this. I might actually just go ahead and use it just to jot notes. You know, you don't have to use it for just one trip. You could probably do a couple of smaller trips and just kind of change the pages. But let's take, take a look. I always like opening the sack first because I feel like it's a little bit of a teaser for what the actual theme is for the box. We got from Park Lane Papery a multi ink ballpoint pen. Oh man, I remember like loving these when I was a kid. So let me see if I can get into this. It's uh, it's like hidden in this little box, but it's one of those ones that has, you know, you just like click it down so that you can get to all the different, different colors. So it's always a, this is like a puzzle box. I have no idea how to get into this. Maybe I can get into it from the bottom. Let's see if I can. Oh, I'm going to break a nail if I do it that way. So let's see if I can. Hmm. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Man. And then there's like a sticker. There's so much stuff going on here. This is one of those boxes that I love getting to take pictures of. I don't always get to, but when I do, it's just always so colorful and it's uh, fun to take kind of close-ups of things, you know, so you guys can see things in more detail. So it's kind of like a frosted plastic on the uh, shaft of the pen and it looks like we have got six different colors black blue purple red green and orange you guys can see all those colors so that's kind of fun and useful when you're sort of annotating things you know you could put your shoes in blue and your tops in orange or you know something like that if you wanted to categorize things another item we got is these really cute little paper clips let me see if i can get into this i always like to take things out of the packaging if i can for you guys just so you don't get the glare but then know that you can usually go over to my instagram and see close-ups of some of these guys my instagram is at maui underscore noelle and then sometimes she'll uh use some of my photos on the uh journal junk box uh on their profile as well so look how cute those are I do think those are fun. I don't have like use paper clips a lot, but they great, make great bookmarks. And then when you are travel planning, they are very, very useful. So there is that. And then finally, our kind of fourth item. So we got our quote card, we got our notebook, our pen, our paper clips. I love that explore one with the fern. From Paper House, we got some 3D stickers, which we often do. And I like this because it's not a specific destination. It's just travel in general. So if you have a travel scrapbook and it's not just for one trip, these are always fun because they're 3D. So they have some foam core to give them that 3D effect. So they lift up off the page. But I think those are fun. Those don't necessarily work very well in your journal or your day planner because then you can't close the book up. But I do think for those of you who do some serious scrapbooking, those are really kind of cool. All right, so let's open up our box. Yay, this is totally a theme that I love, love, love. It is travel more and worry less. Amen to that. Absolutely. So dust off those passports, you guys. We're starting to get to travel. It's a little more expensive these days because of the world is going back to travel, but it is still so fun and so rewarding. On the back, she tells us all of the items that are in there with the retail values, which I really appreciate, as well as our March journal prompts. And there's one for each week of the month. So you can share them in their VIP group to be entered in a monthly giveaway, which is a kind of fun additional um, interactive element of this box. You know, you can keep your journaling private, but sometimes they're like more inspirational. Like for week one, it's what is your favorite place to explore and why? I would love to hear that from you guys too. I mean, it could be as simple as like the vegetable aisle in your grocery store, because sometimes I, like I just get, I get inspired by finding fruits and vegetables from different places that I've never seen. All right, and again, here is our little bookmark that's in there and our little note card that reminds us that it is the journal junk box. All right, so we have a car coaster. Oh, I do like car coasters, and this one's actually really cute and very, very simple, which I appreciate. Of course, this just goes in the drink holder of your car so that it absorbs any moisture from any of the drinks that you might be getting. You know, if you are going through a drive through if you're doing a road trip, that still counts as travel, absolutely. Super cute. So it says, <laughs> sip, sip, hooray. Of course, that's adorable. I like that one. I've gotten car coasters in different boxes and that might be my favorite one that I've ever gotten. So our car coaster, there's an assorted selection by uh, Santa Barbara Design Studio and that has a value of $5.99. Sometimes, even though she doesn't use shred anymore, I still have to clear my throat. Oh, these are cute. So this says round trip, 20 stationary. I think these are just like, like little tags and different like things that you can use in your scrapbook. So it says 
These delightful embellishments are the perfect finishing touch for any product project. So yeah, there's like an example of what we've got. We've got like little tickets. We've got little, all kinds of little fun um, cutouts. Like if you don't have a Cricut, basically you kind of just got like a nice little travel set right here where they've already done it for you. So let me see what it says about this one. This is the travel theme stationery pack by Maggie Holmes. Glue these fun shapes to your journal pages and project projects and has a value of $12.99. There's quite a few. So there's this like little top envelope here and then there's the bigger ones that you could use as like banners. I like that one that looks like an old school label maker. There we go. <laughs> I realized I had it upside down. I was like, is it backwards? It's upside down. Then we got some stickers from Round Trip, uh, the Round Trip line by Maggie Holmes again. And these are great. They're kind of like almost like frosted looking. Like they look like they're on like vellum or something. But let me show you on the back because there's a bunch of pages in this booklet. So we actually got six pages of all these fun stickers to decorate your journal or your just day planner. Like some of you like me probably just have like a day planner. I used to do like a whole accordion file folder for each day of my trip when it was like a longer trip. And I still do that if I am traveling with like more than more than just my husband or a friend like if I'm trying to coordinate a whole group of, of people which I did for like a big birthday I did a couple of years ago and I I had like a file folder for it like each day and each excursion just to kind of keep everything really straight um, but then it would have been fun to get to decorate things with the little stickers and all of the little cutouts this is a really pretty pen from punch studio and it came in this nice like gift box so nice little like magnetic closure it's kind of got like the globes and um, kind of that jet setter like look to it. Very nice like weighty pen. So let's see what it says about this one. Globes ballpoint pen with gift box by Punch Studio. And this has a value of $10.99. That is a fancy, that's a fancy pen. So I like that. And you know, you always need a pen. There's always some form to fill out, especially when you're traveling internationally or to Hawaii. There's always uh, there's always a need for a pen and then people are always like scrambling and you're having to like ask your like stranger neighbor next to you like hey can I borrow that pen when you're done with it and it's like a long form and you have to be like what flight is this what <laughs> what province are we traveling to what state in Mexico another item from the round trip Maggie Holmes line we have these fun um stamps so if you haven't seen this before it's kind of a thing that I discovered through subscription boxes too you can get these like acrylic stamp blocks and then these are actually for rubber the rubber stamps but you can kind of arrange them however you want so obviously you can use some for like labels and stuff but you can kind of create your own little um, vignettes so it says easily add fun cute shapes and designs simply peel the stamp from the transparent sheet and apply to an acrylic block apply the ink to the stamp you can use a pad or you can use the roll-on ink of course position image onto the desired surface and press down firmly so it's a really cool way of making different designs or if you are doing like a travel journal and you're making it yourself you can do different designs on every page or you create the block right like a square that's going to frame all of your photos or all of your ticket stubs and then you can have that same one printed on each of the pages so it's kind of a cool idea so let's see what it says about our stamp set of 17 different stamps on here this has a value of $7.99 so pretty cool I really like the camera one and of course the plain one and then I don't know when I would use an explorer stamp but you never know those of you who are big scrapbookers like this is a this is a really good uh box for you because I feel like I wouldn't like just do scrapbooks for like daily life it would really be for bigger events like travel like trips um yet another item I feel like we got like the whole round trip line from Maggie Holmes we got some paper clips but look at the cute shapes there's a plain uh, is that an envelope at the bottom with a heart and then an ice cream cone? I don't know what that has to do with um, travel, although I know that I tend to indulge a little bit more when I'm traveling and uh, find really good ice cream. Oh, how cute. And they're in different colors. You guys, this, so you can see the planes are in mint. The envelopes are pretty big. They're in like yellow. And then we have our little ice cream cones in pink. So I think you guys can see that through the plastic. Okay. Those are really, really cute. So that's a good thing to use as bookmarkers as well in your travel journal. So obviously the plane you would use for the actual journeys, um, maybe even like the train trips or like your transportation to and from different cities. And then the envelopes could be for like your tickets or where you have like 
like your tips for your guides and then of course the ice cream would be for any like restaurant suggestions i'm a food tour person so i would probably put it on all the days where i have food tours planned from Maggie Holmes, surprise, surprise, we got a postcard book. So I've been saying to everybody, we need to bring postcards and letters back because it means so much when you receive one, especially when you receive a postcard from a foreign country. So this one uh, it looks like we have 15, 16 postcards, excuse me, and we have different designs. They're kind of fun because they're in different colors. Some of them almost have that uh, traditional airmail uh, border. So this is good if you want to just take this with you to write some postcards home. Maybe it's not necessarily the most picturesque place. Uh, maybe you're on a work trip, but you still want to send a little postcard home to somebody as a fun little souvenir or gift. I usually really like to try to find the postcards, although I will say postcards have started to get a little bit pricey when you're traveling. You're like, and some of them are really fancy and are almost like art prints, but sometimes you're like, you know, I don't need to spend <laughs> like uh, $5 on this fancy postcard and it's just going to get all banged up in the mail, you know? So I do think they're a nice thing to do. And uh, I think it's good to remember to, if, you, if you're if you traveling domestically, bring your own stamps because it's hard to get postcard stamps and no need to waste a full price stamp. But if you are traveling internationally and you are planning to get postcards, go ahead and deal with that right away or ask your front desk if you are staying at a hotel. Um, but usually it's pretty easy to find find out where how the postal service works. There are some countries these days like Ecuador, like where they don't even have a postal service anymore. So I don't know how you're going to get a postcard from there. So, you know, that could be the wave of the future where we don't have like as much mail service because everybody just uses email and digital things. So send postcards while you can, you guys. So our postcard book of 16 by Maggie Holmes had a value of $10.99. So less than a dollar postcard. Great deal compared to the ones at those souvenir shops. And then finally, our notebook for this box. Oh, this is a cool one. Also with the travel theme, of course, but less about like, you know, lists and planning, etc. Is this one from Peter Popper Press, which I do really like. Of course, it's got this uh, elastic closure. It's just like regular binding, though. You guys know I like my spiral binding, unless it's got perforated pages to tear out. This one does not, but nice lined, kind of cream colored pages. But it's just got fun words on it. You know, adventure beckons, cherish every moment, the travel life. And it's kind of um, embossed a little bit, so there is some texture. It's slightly raised. And I kind of like this uh, almost like antique kind of vibe to it so it's almost like a faded black almost a faded olive green or something so kind of cute let's see does it have like a little pocket in the back no pocket in the back but definitely a useful travel journal or dreaming about future travels so this is the travel is life journal by peter popper press that has a value of 10.99 that seems like a really good value on that so let's just go over everything that we got in the journal junk box for today we got this travel is life journal we got our postcard book so that saves you the trouble of finding some postcards just in case although if you can find the local postcards and it's a picturesque place and they have some fun funny postcards definitely do that we've been thinking about doing that over the no Botnook about having everyone send in postcards for a whole year and then at the end we'll like kind of make a booklet out of it but I think we missed the opportunity for it for this year maybe that's a 2024 plan that we'll do you guys then we have our travel themed stationary pack which was just all those fun like cutouts to decorate your planners or your journals or different projects that you might do posters I don't know your uh, round trip sticker book which of course goes along with that as well super cute so many different pages so many different designs lots of like little ones uh, so it's kind of the opposite those were kind of bigger pieces these are like the little itty bitty ones our uh, clear acrylic stamp set I do still think I have an acrylic block somewhere but I just haven't had like a project that warrants me doing this yet but it's a good thing to have for sure if you do think you're gonna get back into scrapbooking which I know is on the list of to do's for a lot of you our travel paper clip set which I thought was really adorable with all of these different ones which of course again they make great bookmarks as well our globes ballpoint pen in a nice gift box and finally our car coaster which honestly I think I'm the most 
most excited about the car coaster just because I see myself doing some road trips in the future. I actually don't have a car um, cup holder in my car, but my husband does. And this seems like something that would be good to just kind of keep things nice and clean and keep like all that condensation and moisture from getting in there with all the dirt and grime that's always in that uh, cup holder. If you guys let me know in the comments below, what cup trips do you have coming up this spring or this summer, or maybe even at the end of the year? I always love to hear where you are traveling to and which of these items in either the sack or the box would you find the most useful for your trip, for planning for your trip, during your trip, or maybe afterwards when you are commemorating your trip. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, help me out with a thumbs up and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.